for as long as he can remember, Jason Hafner has wanted to know how things work. Today, he devotes his time to basic research. The Texan native is known for his clear thinking, elegant experiments, and unexpected approaches to problems. In his still young career, Dr. Hafner applies his passion for figuring out how things work in two key areas, in understanding the synthesis and properties of nanomaterials and in measuring and exploring the electrical fields inside cell membranes. He also shares his enthusiasm with his students, often devising elaborate demonstrations to underscore theory and with his children, helping them build interesting toys. For his ability to understand and explain how things work, particularly in the fields of carbon nanotubes, nanophotonics, and membrane biophysics, the Welch Foundation honors Jason H. Hafner with the 2011 Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. Jason is a careful scientist. He's fundamentally a very curious person. He dry, he's driven to do science because he really just wants to understand how things work. I remember in kindergarten, the earliest I can remember is the teacher took a, a bean and put it in water and uh, split it open and you could see the leaf inside the bean. And I remember, wow, <laughs> there's actually a plant in there. After accidentally catching his chemistry teacher on fire in high school, she was okay. Dr. Hafner turned his attention to physics. He earned an undergraduate degree in the field at Trinity University before attending graduate school at Rice to work in nanoscience. It was in Rick Smalley's lab that he began learning more chemistry, mastering the fundamentals while trying to stay ahead of students as a TA for Dr. Smalley's freshman chemistry class. I wasn't sure what kind of a chemist I would become. I think I'm a little bit of a physical chemist and a little bit of an analytical chemist. But I do still get excited to get to the lab. I hate to admit it, but I think my most exciting, fun thing that I do in the lab is write MATLAB code to analyze data. I still like to make apparatus. I often ask myself, you know, what would Smalley do here? And the answer is always, he'd build some giant, crazy apparatus. His love of building things doesn't stop at the lab. He enjoys making toys with sons George, nine, and Henrik, seven. One recent Halloween project was a vortex cannon that belches smoke rings. Half physicist and half chemist, with an interest in biological systems, Dr. Hafner defies easy definition. Many people uh, think about innovative scientists as thinking outside the box. Well, I think with Jason, he never, he never really had a box. He has made some important contributions in several key areas, and he's done that in very systematic, beautiful, and rigorous ways. In one collaboration, Dr. Hafner provides biophysics insights to Rebecca Dresick's bioengineering projects, including one focused on allowing surgeons to verify they have removed the entire breast cancer tumor. Jason is one of the best people that I know uh, to work with. He's really, really good at designing very careful experiments that provide new insights into very fundamental aspects of how some of these materials that he's interested in function. And understanding those kinds of questions lets us do our job um, much better. Working with metal nanoparticles, Dr. Hafner's lab discovered gold nanostars and mapped the optical properties of their many and varied elongated tips. The nanostars are proving useful for imaging, sensing, and therapeutic applications. He also is working with silver nanowires to determine if making them thinner improves their ability to interact with molecules. One of Dr. Hafner's closest collaborators is Dmitry Lopatko, Together, they have been able to identify and destroy single cancer cells using a laser to turn gold nanostars into nanobubbles. Jason is very determined when he decides to start doing something and he never afraid to start totally new, entirely new research from scratch. So, he is free from any restrictions, and that's very important for a scientist. As a postdoc at Harvard, Dr. Hafner adapted nanotubes to use as tips for atomic force microscopes. 
He now has employed that technology to measure, for the first time, the forces arising from the dipole moments of molecules that make up the cell membranes. His current goal is to both develop an easier way to measure these forces and to explore their biological impact. So I think one thing that can help you in research is uh, just to keep your eyes open all the time. Sometimes it's just taking the big picture and realizing many failures could actually be successes. So part of success in research is just looking at everything and you know, always thinking through every possibility. When not focused on his research, Dr. Hafner spends time with his family. He met his wife, now a pediatrician, at Trinity. I tried to sell him my calculus book and we went out with some friends and just hit it off from there and we dated ever since and got married and love at first sight. The two professionals balance busy careers with child raising. Because Dr. Hafner has a fairly flexible schedule, his wife says he's often the one at the boys' school and extracurricular functions. After they go to bed, he works in his home office late into the night. And in talking with his parents, he's always been one of those kids who's been interested in figuring out how things work. He, from a young age, liked to build things, liked to take things apart and see how they worked. I think Jason is a perfectionist. He's very conscientious. He wants to do the right thing. He works very, very hard. And I think he just likes to get it done right and doesn't feel good until it's done the right way. These qualities also make him a good teacher. Jason is really outstanding as a mentor of graduate students. They learn to think as clearly as Jason thinks, and that clarity of vision, clarity of thought, is something that is it's clearly just absolute characteristic of the way Jason proceeds in his life as a scientist. He's really talented at doing things in this very careful, easy to understand, um, thorough manner. He's the same way in how he interacts with people, how he interacts with graduate students. He's just teaching as he goes along the whole time. He's very communicative. A researcher devoted to understanding how things work and then to sharing that knowledge with others. A clear thinker who tackles problems from unusual angles. A careful experimentalist whose painstaking work has often yielded surprising results. Please join us in saluting rising star Jason H. Hafner as the 2011 recipient of the Hackerman Award in Chemical Research.